Deadly not keepable, so we need to take a mulligan here. Same for this. Okay, that's keepable, not great by any means, but I want to get rid of the red cards here. And let's hope for the best. Okay, Rishan Port is sweet. Okay, this might be madness. Yeah, madness. It's great that we have support so we can port and upkeep. Okay, that's a bit late to the party. Um, I think I want to get the bird down here to have the ability to pay for days with the wood elves. And later the deranged hermit. And we are really relying on the hermit. But this should be a tough matchup. You can just count our key spells. Okay, that's sweet. Discarding deep analysis. Paying two mana to draw two cards. Pretty strong. Woodwaller cast it so attack for at least four here. That's quite a beating. Okay, discarding ropes of warm, so this attacks for five. The good thing is we can port in one second. So we are not relying on him not having a land drop. Hopefully this resolves. Cool thing is that the forest is untapped, so we can port and upkeep and Next turn we might bring the Hermit down. If he would have Wanda, that would be strong. I try to port the Yavimaya coast here, but he could easily have a Frantic Surge or a raw, uh, or a Arrogant Worm. Yeah. If he has Frantic Search, he needs to let the portability resolve first. Okay, Intuition. Probably for three more Deep Analysis. Or two and a Wonder. It's so cool that the um, survival lists are built so differently. Okay. I think it's best to put the Wonder into his hand. Yeah, that's pretty strong. We don't have many flyers. We could try the damage race. But this will be very problematic. So starting next turn, this will crash in for three. So we got three more turns or two more turns. Depending on how hard he wants to pump this. It's a bit late to the party. Not sure here. So Hermit is a great draw. Really want to get this into play. I think he does not have an out for that. Maybe Waterfront Bouncer, but this does not have haste now. 
Okay, but I think we lost at this point because if he has land plus flashback row of the worm. Okay, no land here, but okay, this means he does not attacks. Okay, I'm not planning on blocking here. Okay, discarding a second wonder. So probably this was a top deck, otherwise he wouldn't search for a wonder. You don't even need intuition for the deck, so you can build it very cheap and strong. Okay, Ecolite is super bad. On Magic Online, it's tempting to build it with Survival of the Fittest, because I think it's like $1.50. Okay, next turn. I think I do have one more turn, because I can block this. Problem is, I don't have red mana then. But if we draw red, we can go for Fires of Yabimaya which is a potential pump spell, and then Multani's Ecolite, which can attack. So, depending on what's happening next. I mean, maybe he can't attack with everything. Let's see. I wonder if someone ever played um, Brawl in Blue Red Madness, uh, Blue Red, Blue Green Madness in Primoran. That's the equivalent for Wanda, and it grants you Trample. Okay, he attacks with these two. This is three damage plus three in hand plus pump would be lethal. So I go for the block on White Mongrel. So if he wants to get more damage in, he needs to pay two mana. Now this really hurts. I need a red mana source. Could even be in the sequence of drawing it with Mutani's Ecolite. And he could have a card like circular logic so i need to set a stop in my draw step because i might port after drawing to resolve okay him playing this is great for us uh, we don't get red mana here let's try again with the echo light oh i can't do that here if we do draw red i think we win Because we have the fires of Yavimaya. Come on, red mana. No. Yeah, with red, we could attack with everything. If we attack here, it goes to exactly two. If we got the fire, we would attack with everything. He could block this and would be dead to that. We don't even have to sacrifices so for mulligan five it was a pretty close game i'm not sure if he is on survival if we saw cards like raw of the worm carpet of flowers might be great so of the pyroblast not sure about the simon don't think that's the right thing to do so let's cut the high bridge here because we did not see any survival this could backfire pretty quickly but two cards to cut yeah wood elves was not great and Hermit is a bit expensive. 
Wall of Blossoms can take some damage. I tried like this, I guess. And not having any access to graveyard hate here is tough. So he can just flew over. If he has a wonder in graveyard, oh, such a bad hand again, but I try to keep this. Hopes that he does not have a wasteland and we draw another land. And we do have a redraw with Mutanis Echo Light there. Yeah, we need to hope. Okay, let's see if he plays Sweet Goblin Nabu, but I think every blue green madness deck is on screen now. Wonder and Graveyard is a bit scary. So our blocking plan is not great. If we draw land, ah, uh, no land here. Really need a land now. Otherwise, it's over, I guess. Okay, problem is we still had to stop and draw here. So we flooded mana, took one damage and can't even undo. Cause City of Brass had, had a trigger and we can't place the Echo Light. So big misplay due to the software. Normally you would never had it play like this. Yeah, it could cost us a game, but I think let's try to stay positive. Maybe we find a land and could win with the fires of Yavimaya and supporting burst. Okay, no land again. I don't understand magic online. I flooded to green and I want to cast the Multanis Echo Light. Now it works. So we got a land here. So we really need like one or two lands now. I don't know if you know the combo. Mox Bombers states whenever another creature enters the battlefield, sacrifice Mox Bombers and it deals three damage to target creature, uh, to target player. And you can let it stack. And even if it's sacked on the first trigger, you get three damage for every creature. So if you have this in play, play Hermit and place your um, triggers right, it's 15 damage for your opponent. With the supporting burst, it's 21 damage. So that's the whole plan of the deck. And the backup plan is to win some hasty games with Fires of Yavimaya. But at this point, he just needs to keep some counter mana up for the key spells, so it will be really tough to win from this spot. Okay, we can't pay for that. We need to draw land here. No land in this one, maybe here. Yeah, it was, it's probably cost me the game that the stop was still set on draw. We are not completely dead here, but he can ship six damage in each turn. So next turn, we need absolutely a land to have a flame tank Havu. But it's fine. I make exactly these videos to explore the decks and get some experience in. I mean, you don't often set a stop in your own draw step, but I needed it the game before. If I wanted to reshard and port after draw, and this could have won, of, won us the game, but just keep in mind to set it back after, or just watch closely. 
and don't play at night for this test videos. Okay, six damage, we are on four. Uh, he has counter mana up. We don't pay for this. Okay, no land again. So I tried the unsafe route here and yeah, it's done. We can't win from here because even if we resolve the flame time cargo, he can just discard or pump. And we don't even have red mana here. Okay, we just show him the bombers so he knows what he's on. But it does not change the math. If we resolve a flame tank Havu and kill a creature, um, he attacks for three. Yeah, a bit sad that I misplayed here or misclicked, but seems like a really cool deck. Could be very explosive and dangerous. Maybe I want to explore more on this. So thanks for watching. Have a nice evening.